Good morning everybody and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud and your Grade 6 English lesson. My name is Mrs. Fauge. I do hope that you're ready for today. Please make sure that you've got your pen and paper ready. We've got one or two activities to do and then remember if you do have any questions you can email me at grade6 at worksheetcloud.com. So today we are going to have a daily starter. It's quite a fun one. And then we are going to learn um, to understand more about homonyms and homophones. Both start the same, but are very different. So let's jump into our lesson today. We're going to do a bit of hangman. Um, so let's start. Here we go. Might just take a moment. Right, here we go. I hope you're ready. Right, let's play. Right, I think I'm going to do a mixed theme because that means we'll get all of these different um, um, topics. So let's go. Right, normally when you play hangman, I'm sure you know how, you use your letters first. So we know that we've got some A's. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick any other vowels, but let's do like an L. No, not that one. No, <laughs> I wish you were here to help me. There we go. So it's a character. No. Um, I'm trying to think what ends in A. N. I was thinking of Mulan from the um, movie, but it doesn't seem to be that. Okay, getting a little bit closer. Ah, oh, I wonder if you can see it. I've got it. Um, I'll give you a clue. It is about a young boy that gets stranded on an island and um, eventually goes up in the wild with the apes. Have you got it? Good. Tarzan. Well done. Let's try another one, a television show. So again, you always start with your vowels. It's not an A. E. I. O. I'm not going to use a U because I think we've got enough vowels here. Let's see what else we can do. I like to use an N because sometimes words end in N, not this one. Uh, maybe let's use a T. Mm. Television show. T. Maybe we should try an R. True. I'm sure it must be true. True what, guys? I can't think of this one, but let's try an S. True, and I'm sure you're probably saying, Mrs. Foge, I know the answer. <laughs> Wish I could hear you. Uh, let's try a C, D, true. I'm going to try a B, guys. That's all I can. No, it can't be a B. True, true. I was going to say stories, but it's definitely not that one. True blood. True blood. <laughs> Took me a while. Right, let's play one more, or maybe two more. Here we go. A U.S. state. Um, it's obviously a place in the United States of America. I don't know many, but I'm again going to start with an A. Um, I'm not sure if I should do any more. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Right, A and E. So let's think, maybe we need to add in a T. No, definitely not that. R. Hmm. I wonder if you know your US states. I certainly don't. Um, should we try an L? Oh. Maybe a D. Wow, guys. I think I'm going to use a W. Oh, wow. wow. Delaware. I always think of a place in Cape Town. Um, it sounds like that. Maybe I'm mistaken. Right, let's do a character. Again, your vowels. A, not A. E. I. O. U. Right, okay, so it's an, a character. Um, let's try an S. An R. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit of a help. A character. See, now here I would have tried to use a T because I think true, but I'm not sure. But let's try. Oh, 
<laughs> Definitely not. Let's try G. Oh, I know. And I don't really, I only know because I've heard this name so many times. And it is, is actually in our Wonder Book. Um, and one of the boys were calling um, Wonder that. So it is Freddy Kruger. Right. Last one, guys. Let's do a city. Um, it's probably a city in the US, I'm sure. But let's go ahead and try. A, E, I. Okay, we'll stop there. Something with an I. That's a city. Let's try a T. Mm. N. What else could we try? Maybe an S or an R. I'm trying to think. There's no more vowels. Oh, wait, there's an O. Let's try an O. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not that. I was trying to think how it would end. Maybe a Y. No. R. <laughs> oh, dear. S. Oh, that helps us a lot. It's not in the US. It's in Asia. Um, I think, um, Istan, have you heard of it? Bull, Istan, bull. Right, I'm sure you want to see what happens when you don't know the answer. So let's try and, um, we're going to try and get them right. Um, let's try and end. Oh, I know this one. So I'm going to tell you what the answer is. He's a very old actor. His name is Antonio Bandera, but I'm going to do some wrong answers so we can see what happens when we get everything wrong. There's one. Antonio. I'm going to do some wrong ones so that we can see what happens when you get them all wrong. <laughs> I'm really good. Oh, there we go. Antonio Bandera. Okay, guys, so let's go back to our actual um, lesson today, and we're going to jump into homonyms and homophones. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Um, what I will do is I'll put this link for you in your activity. So once you finish doing homophones and homonyms, there'll be the little hangman that you can play. Right, here we go. So we are looking at homophones to start with. Homo is a prefix and it means the same. So homophone homonym, it means the word homo means same. And then phone means sound. And I like to think of think of a telephone because you hear sound on it when somebody talks to you. Um, they are two words which are pronounced exactly the same, but they have a different meaning and a different spelling. So just think about it is when you hear something, you can't see the spelling. You know, you can't see when somebody's actually talking to you on the phone. You can't see their words written out. So just, I hope that tries um, and, and just gives you a little bit more of a picture of how to remember homophones. It's a sound, but um, it means different things, different spellings. So take a look at these two. Some, I can do a sum in maths, and I want some more pizza. So some sounds exactly the same, but one means maths and one means to get some more of. Right, way and way sounds exactly the same, but there we're talking about a path and there we're talking about a verb. You can weigh yourself and this is where you can walk on that path or that way. Week and week, this is talking about the days of the week, Monday to Sunday, and week is an action. You can be weak. It's, an it's actually an adjective, um, not an action, an adjective. So a weak person who hasn't got any muscles. And then berry and berry, love this one, because we are talking about a noun, berry, as in this one. I like to put a, um, some berries in my smoothies when I have them in the morning. And then berry is a verb. You can bury um, a bone in the backyard. Your dog can bury a bone in the backyard. Okay, so let's jump into some actual examples. So again, just remember homophone. So homo means same. And phone is to do with the sound. They sound the same, but they spell differently. 
So let's take a look here. We've got no and no. So I know something and no, you may not go home. The next one, role and role. You have a role to play in the, in the drama play at school or roll over or I eat a roll. So you'll see that one means something else. We'll come back to that. Week and week, we've already spoken about. Through and through, I walked through the front door and I threw the ball at the dog. Weather and weather, the weather outside, and this a lot of you get wrong when you're actually writing a story or a paragraph. So weather is the W-E-A as in outside. And today's a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. So the weather is looking good. But whether you are going home or not um, after the game is up to you. And that's the weather with a W-H. One and one. Sometimes we get these confused as well. There is one thing you need to remember. Or um, Liverpool won the game. Um, my brother and my father are both um, Liverpool supporters. So very, very serious about their, um, their team. Allowed and allowed. Do you hear that? They sound the same, but they spell differently and mean different things. You are allowed to stay up till nine o'clock. Um, and I, I want you to read aloud. So I want to hear what you are saying. Eight and eight. I ate my food and it is time to go to bed at eight o'clock. Bear and bear. First one is to do with a bear cupboard. Bear means empty. Okay, it could also be bear as in no clothes. Like when you jump into the shower, you need to be bear. And bear, I have a beautiful teddy bear next to my bed. These three, by, by, and by. So are you getting it? They sound the same, but different spellings and different meanings. I go to the shop to buy some sweets. That one, the... Um, house was destroyed by the fire and then wave goodbye. Course and course. The first one is if you touch sandpaper, it is very coarse. It's rough. And then course, as in not from the word of course, but you could use it like that. But course as in um, perhaps you went on a course. Flower and flower. Flower is the one you bake with and obviously flower in the garden. Here and here, I hear what you're saying, come here. And hole and hole, that's an actual hole in the ground or a hole in your jersey. And this is we ate the whole pizza. So they can be quite tricky grade sixes and you really need to be on your A game. So let's take a look at these. I want you to try and identify which one you would use in a sentence. And this is the real trick. So pause the video in a minute and for example here, please try not to waste waste paper. This one is waste if you neglectful and this second one is your waist. Okay, so the middle of your body, your waist. So what I want you to do is you just need to write 1 to 12, read the sentence, which word would you choose? And then we'll come back and go through it together. Let's go and um, look at how you've done. So number one, can I go to the party too? You need to know a lot of grade sixes struggle with this. The first one is let's go to the shop. The last one is number two. And this one, two, can also mean also. So can I go to the party also? So two with a double O. So P, I mean the double O, yes. So please make sure that you um, really work on that. Then the second one, this is my favorite pair of jeans. The first one means when you pair an apple, you actually remove the skin. A pair means two, okay? And a pair as in like an apple and a pair of fruit. So a pair of jeans, um, because it's got two legs. Number three, I sent a letter to my aunt in Cape Town. So sent means to, um, um, yeah, um, <laughs> Uh, this one means to obviously um, let it go there, okay? Scent is a smell, and then scent is like a, a 10 cent coin. Number four, the children got bored during the movie. The first bored is the correct one when you are um, not interested in what's happening. And bored as in like cardboard 
um, or um, the back of a mirror has a board. Number five, Mr. and Mrs. Hale like to work in their garden. This one's slightly different, there, rather than there, but there means over there, there means they are, and their garden means that it belongs to them. So it is their garden. So these can really be tricky, grade six, so you um, need to make sure that you actually revise them quite often. Number six, Alex is going to wear his work hoodie today. This wear is obviously when you put clothes on and you wear them. This wear is like when you go to um, Builder's Warehouse. It's called a hardware store. So there's items that you can get there um, to do with um, building or kitchens, etc. Number seven, do you think it's going to rain this afternoon? Love these three. This um, rain is like on a horse where you um, have the reins. Rain is obviously rain. And that's what we're talking about here. Is it going to rain today? And this is a king and a queen who reign, like Queen Elizabeth in the UK. Number eight, I saw a restaurant just off the road about a kilometer back. And this, remember, it sounds the same, different spelling, different meaning. That's the actual road that you um, drive on. But road is actually the past tense of ride. I ride my bike. Yesterday I rode my bike. Number nine. David's brother is in a band which plays 80s music. That's the band. So a group of people who um, are obviously musicians. And band is when you're not allowed to do something. Um, so you are banned from um, watching TV after nine perhaps in your house. Number 10, Jenna wants her socks because her toes are cold. Toes and toes. This is to do with, I don't know how often you see it on the side of the road when a car has broken down and you need a tow truck to come. And the tow truck tows or pulls the car um, um, to the garage so it can be fixed because it can't move itself. And then obviously your toes, these fingers, toes. Number 11, the teacher walked down the aisle between the rows of desks. Do you know this one? So um, when you are at school, the teacher walks down the aisles. So between the rows of desks, that's the first one. An aisle is a small island or a small group of islands. Haley has a pain in her shoulder. So the first one is a window pane. So behind me, you can see the window pane. And then pain is an actually actual sore or uncomfortableness in your shoulder, something you experience. Right, I hope you're getting the hang of it. We're moving on to homonyms. And in grade seven, you even go as far as talking about homographs. Um, but we're just sticking to homophones and homonyms in grade six. So again, remember homo means the same. Nym means name. So homonym means the same name where homophone was the same sound. So they can be confusing, so look carefully. There are words that sound the same, just like your homophone, but they are spelled the same as well. Okay, so your homophones were spelled differently and meant different things. But a homonym, they are spelled the same. Stalk and stalk, spelled exactly the same. So look at the example. A corn stalk is tall, if you've driven past a field of corn. Okay, the stalk is tall and paparazzi stalk famous people. So quite often one is a noun, the corn stalk, you could see it and touch it. And stalk is an action. Um, sometimes the lion stalks its prey. Um, and so they're using that kind of verb to say that the paparazzi stalk famous people. Right, let's take a look at some examples. So change, can you see how it's spelled exactly the same? But you can have coins, as in over here, or you can undo something, so to change your mind, um, like as in a time for change, to go to the beach, um, maybe in your holiday, that's what you're going to do. We've got beam, and it can mean two things, to do with the wood, you know, to do with wood, sorry, or your face. So your face beams, you're smiling brightly, and wood, as in a wood beam, that you have in a house. Then you've got bark. Obviously, you can see there, you can have a dog that barks, and you can have the bark of a tree. Current, I did say waves, like as in the waves in the sea, 
There's a current sometimes that can sweep you away. You've got to be very careful. But we're also talking about an electrical current. And then as in now, <clears throat> as in um, current news. So what's happening in the news? That's going to be what's happening now. Um, base, there's no pictures here, but when I'm talking about the base of something, I'm talking about the bottom of something, like the bottom of um, the box is the base. And then um, face, you could put base on your face, which a lot of ladies have to do, so we look pretty. Don't always need it, but somehow we just think we do. Fold, so fold can be when you um, turn something over, or if you fold a piece of paper in half, that little area there is called a fold. So that's your um, actual noun, but you can fold something over um, or turn it over when you, um, you know, open your blanket, and that is um, a fold. Last one on this page, fire. Obviously, there's the first one. We can sit by the fire. I actually have a fire in my lounge, which we um, do do when it's really, really cold. We make a fire. I love it. It's nice and warm. Or you can lose your job. You are fired um, is another word that they use. Right, let's take a look at some of these examples that you are going to do. So I hope you are not lying to me. My books are lying on the table. So there's the two words, lying and lying. Remember homonyms? Um, and think of the name. When you write down your name in a certain way, it's spelt in a certain way. So words are spelt exactly the same, lying and lying but they mean different things. So they sound the same, like a homophone, but um, they are spelt exactly the same, and they mean different things. So I hope you're not lying to me. It could be telling a lie. Well, it is telling a lie. And if, you're, if your books are lying on the table or you are lying in your bed, that's being in a horizontal position. So pause the video and just think about it yourself. Which one is this and which one is that? The page and the page. Can you explain it to me? Play and play. Bit and bit, pen and pen. And when we come back, we'll go through it together. Off you go. Right. Um, I see that I didn't actually do the memo because I wanted to discuss it rather. Right. The kids are going to watch TV. That's actually a verb. You are physically viewing something. And what is the time I have to set my watch? Watch is an actual noun, so your actual device. Which page is the homework on? So we're talking about a physical page in a book. Um, and so that is your noun. And please page the doctor. That's a verb. So you know doctors normally carry around those pages if you've seen on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> That's the one I watch, or Chicago Meds. Um, and it's a little beeper, almost like a little phone that goes off to call the doctor. Then let's play soccer after school there's a verb it's an action that you can do and the author wrote a play so that's um like a drama production like the sound of music or alice in wonderland number four ouch the mosquito bit me there's the verb so an actual bite but bit as in um past tense and i'll have a little bit of sugar so a small amount so the one is a verb and the one is a noun a bit Number five, the rabbits are in a pen outside. Pen as in a little enclosure. And then please sign this form with a black pen. Those are both um, nouns, but completely different ones. So I hope you're getting it, um, grade sixes. So just to recap, homophones to do with a sound, the same sound, but they're spelled differently, like allowed and allowed. You are allowed to come um, and visit or can you please read aloud? Okay, but homonyms are spelt exactly the same. Like we spoke about stalk and stalk. The corn stalk and the paparazzi stalk, the famous people. So just uh, make sure that you recap this. There will be an activity for you to do. And like I said, I will put that little um, website for you to play Hangman if you want to play that on your own. Remember, if you've got any... Um, E um, questions for me you know that you can email me at grade 6 at worksheetcloud.com and then nothing more from me but just to say thank you for watching grade sixes this lesson was brought to you by worksheet cloud and i will see you same time same place bye guys